Today, on Long New Dr. Phil, his father claims his daughter has been draining his bank account for years. While the daughter claims she has been abused by both her father and her brother for years. The verdict? Welcome everybody to a new episode. Now this daughter has been accusing her father and brother of verbal and physical abuse for years only to be given money in return for her silence. Now her father says that this isn't the case that in fact she's been draining the family into debt for years and only lashing out when she doesn't get what she wants. Let's go take a look. I started making out 50k a year and now I'm millions of dollars in debt because of her. I just try my best with these kids. Dad, can I have extra money? No, I already gave you enough money. What do you mean I can't have money? That's not fair to me at all. Whatever. Get these cameras out of my face. Welcome everybody, have a seat. Welcome to the show. Now Kendall, can you just elaborate a little bit on the situation? You don't even know half the stuff he does behind doors. He does so much more, and it's crazy. Now, it is my understanding that there is a report that says that you and your brother have been beaten multiple times. Has there been an investigation, and if so, how many no, times? Never has been Only a couple times. Nothing was ever found, and I have the paperwork to prove it. Well, let me take a look. Okay, so, so yes, from what it says here, the investigation ended with no conclusions to be made. Correct. They did check your background history and also with your neighbors to provide extra proof on your behalf. Correct. And they claimed you were a good neighbor and that they would never expect you to be accused of domestically abusing your children. I'm a great neighbor. Now, there are also notes on both the kids being here. So tell me, Kendall, what did you tell the gentleman when they came into your home? I told him that he didn't care about me, nor my brother. Yeah, but you didn't mention anything about him abusing you. That's bull. He was paying us off to keep us quiet. To both you and your brother? Hell yeah. But you have also mentioned in past interviews that he has also hurt you, did you not? Well, he follows my dad's footsteps. Father like son, you know. I think it's time we bring Nick out to get to the bottom of this, because these, these stories just don't match up. Nick, come on out. Uh, have a seat here. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm, I'm doing great. Nick, glad to have you here today on the show. Welcome. Uh, I'm glad to finally be here to try and get to the bottom of this. Now, Nick, what is your story? Let's hear your version of what's happened. Well, what Kendall claims is flat out wrong. She's manipulated our family into thinking that me and my dad are bad people. That is when... not true. That isn't true because no. it sounds pretty no. true to me. No, 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 it's not. So, what I can tell right now, based on the information that I have received, is that, Kendall, right now you are suffering from some sort of compulsive lying disorder, which can be characterized as a personality disorder. And this is not to attack you, okay? This is not an attack on you, because from my experience, these types of instances usually do stem from some type of trauma that has happened in your life, okay? Now, Dad, let's take it back to you, if I could. When did the start of these types of instances begin to occur where the lying and the taking more money than usual, when did that start? Tell us a little bit about that. It happened around 14 with all the lies, and then it advanced from there, going into money and all those other stupid things that she does. Now, a question for the both of you. Did anything happen during that time that you know of that was traumatic to the family or uh, Kendall, anything that has caused any grief to you? Anything? Hey, listen, Kendall, if you don't feel comfortable, we can take backstage, Kendall. If this is, a, we were not trying to cause any pain, we're just here to help you. Get these damn cameras out of my face. Okay, Kendall's getting some help in our isolation room. Let's bring it back to Dad. Dad, tell us anything if you can. Clearly something happened here. Tell us what you know. Well, around 13, 
me and my wife split up, and that's when Kendall started acting all crazy. Okay, so that is probably what the cause of this is. Now, you said that she was quiet in the beginning, at least during this. Children, especially during the middle of divorces, tend to bottle up their feelings and all their emotions and blame themselves for the split. Not being able to emotionally evolve and grow as a person if there is no guidance or missing a part of that guidance. Now, after the split, how much have you tried to talk to her seriously about what's going on on her end? I, I try to talk the best I can, but it just doesn't work. But you see, you're, you're not just a father anymore. You understand? You are a father and a mother, so you need to talk to your daughter more. Talk to Candle some more. All right? Even if she's cold at first, I guarantee that she needs some help to move on from this. You understand? It's, it's just very hard. That is your homework then. That is your assignment to take home with you. Open up. Talk to your daughter more. Understand what her feelings are. Now, as far as the money, okay, do cut her off, all right, so that you can make up the debt that you have lost. That's important. Talk to her. Talk to Kendall. Explain to her reasoning, but ultimately also understand she is using your money as a way to escape and feel better about herself. All right, it's been a pleasure having you guys on the show today. I wish you all the best of luck, and I just want to thank you very much for coming in and helping me with your problems. Hey, let's bring it in for the real thing. Bring it in for the real thing, yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you all very much. All right, that wraps up another edition of Dr. Phil's show. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.